Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May and in this video we're going to be dividing rational expressions. Now I know when you look at those two fractions they are a bit overwhelming and we're going to get to them here in a minute but we need to first deal with this division sign. So you may remember that when we divide fractions we flip the second one and multiply. So really we're going to leave this first fraction alone and I'm going to multiply instead of divide, and I'm going to flip the second fraction. Now that I have it set up for multiply, now I get to factor. Now, let me say this before I jump into factoring. Factoring is one of those things that sometimes people have trouble with, meaning it just needs a lot of practice for them to feel confident. I'm going to be sure and link in the cards above a video that I did explaining step by step how I factor each of these expressions. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to not go into all of those details, but if you want to check out that video in the cards, please do so. So now I'm going to start in the top left and I'm going to factor 2x to the second minus x minus 3. And that factors to 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. Again, if that's unclear to you, please check out that video that I put in the cards. On the bottom left, on this um, denominator, I'm going to factor out by GCF, I'm going to factor out a 2. Okay, now I'm going to go top right, I'm going to factor out a 2 first. And then bottom right, I'm going to factor that into 2x minus 3 and x plus 2. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for, anything that will cancel. So that's top to bottom. So I see a 2x minus 3 on top and a 2x minus 3 on bottom. Those go away. And then I've got a 2 on top and a 2 on bottom. So let's look at what we have left. We have an x plus 1 on top. We have an x to the fourth minus 16 on top. And then I've got an x to second plus 4 on bottom and an x plus 2. Okay. Now I can go further on this parentheses because that's a difference of two squares. So I'm going to factor one step further. So the square root of x to the fourth is x to the second. So I'll put that there and there. The square root of 16 is four, and one gets a plus and one gets a minus. Okay, so now we still have our same denominator. Nothing more I can factor there with. So notice that the x to the second plus four is canceled, so we'll cancel those out. And now on top, I'm left with x plus one times x to the second minus four and then an x plus 2. Now I also notice on top this parentheses is a difference of two squares as well. So I can factor it as an x plus 2 and an x minus 2. And you can see then that my x plus 2's cancel out now and I'm left with an x plus 1 x minus 2 and I'm finished. Now, you might have to multiply that out, like if you're doing some kind of multiple choice, you can multiply that out um, using the FOIL method or distributive property, but either of these answers are correct, okay? So let's kind of recap. The first thing we did is we flipped that second fraction and multiplied. Then we factored anything that we could, okay? We factored by GCF, we factored trinomials, we factored by difference of two squares. Then we look for anything that cancel top and bottom. That's going to be key. Again, remember, if you need more practice with the factoring, check out that video that I put in the cards to help you. All right. Bye for now.